this is the week of my birthday and it's year one week 10 well I'm about to get back on a, another airplane but this time I'm going to Houston so I'll see you in Texas so here we are in Houston and this is what I was talking about but I get the test drive because I rent from Hertz all the time so let's see what we've got in terms of a car they've got some really nice Chrysler 300s I think we need to find a black one an all black one kind of Call of Duty blackout style Well, here I am in the Omni Hotel in Houston, and you can kind of tell that getting the new car and stuff is fun, but once I get to the hotel, it's kind of, for a better term. But it's kind of a dated hotel. There's no USB ports anywhere in the room. There's, the decor is kind of, too. <laughs> Uh, but the good thing is, is that I'm about to head down to dinner and I'm expecting there to be some pretty good seafood since I'm on the Gulf Coast of Texas. So we'll see. Well, here I am getting some dinner, which is blackened redfish with some mud bugs on top and then some grilled Brussels sprouts. Looks pretty good. So let's see what it tastes like. Well, here I am in the hotel room and I'm having to do some work and we've got a little break here in the meetings. So, decided to come up here and do some work and do some emails and all that kind of stuff. So, not sure how much vlogging I'll do for the rest of the day because we do have a social event later on, which is pretty spectacular. <laughs> and then tomorrow, I've got meetings in the morning with another company but I'm actually gonna go try to find our first house that Aunt Cindy and I had built here in Houston. It was actually the first house that we ever bought. So maybe you'll see that tomorrow. See you later. Well, it's been a pretty fun night here after the whole social event for the meetings that I've done. But again, it, it still kind of sucks because I'm just not home. And being home is still really nice. So, yeah, I've got a pretty fun day tomorrow. And but especially maybe since I'm, it's almost my birthday Wednesday. So, yeah, it just kind of sucks. So here I am out and about here in, in Houston in the morning heading off to a meeting and it's 30 degrees here in Houston. Luckily, this new Chrysler 300 that I've got from Hertz has heated seats, which means my ass is nice and warm. So I'm having breakfast at Taco Cabana and Aunt Cindy and I used to come to Taco Cabana all the time for breakfast. It's just one of those local places that just has good basic Mexican breakfast with a great salsa bar and all that. So coming back to Houston, I had to stop and have breakfast. Well, back in 2000, Yes, Y2K. Aunt Cindy and I, we bought our first home. We had it built. It was a brand new home. It was a great experience. We got to pick all of the carpet, the tile, all the fixtures. I mean, it was it was somewhat of a terrifying experience because it was the first house that we ever bought. But like any experience, once you do it once, then it's a lot of fun after that and it's a lot more comfortable the experience. 
experiences after you have your first experience. And that first house is this house right here in Katy, Texas. This was our first house that we ever bought and had built. Well, it's Wednesday, March 6th, and today is my 48th birthday. And look, I'm at another airport, about to get on a, another airplane. But at least this time I am going home. So tonight on Mixer, I will be doing a birthday stream. So I'll see you at the show. If you are coming here from my YouTube vlog that I post now every week because I'm doing that here in 2019, then welcome to the Uncle Mike Mike Show. I am your host, Uncle Mike Mike, and yes, this is my 48th birthday. I was born March 6th, 1971. So here is my rum drink. Look at this, man. It's like boom, chakalaka, boom, chakalaka, boom, chakalaka, boom, chakalaka, right here. So that's what we're doing right here. Uh, but yes, I am Uncle Mike Mike. I am your favorite streamers or your favorite YouTubers favorite uncle So uh, welcome to the show. We're gonna jump right into it. And while we're probably sitting in lobbies I am going to reminisce. I don't expect to be <laughs> To be crying about any of the photos that we see tonight But why not here on my 48th birthday reminisce about what I have done here in almost this half of a century Holy shit. I can't believe that the world has allowed me to survive for a, almost a half of a century. There's no reason to drink our potions at this moment. For some reason, you know, it that those potion chests they change colors. Does that mean something? Here's one right here. Look. Change colors. Yeah, see, I wonder if you if it changes colors and you pick it at the right moment when it's like yellow, if you get an armor potion. What the hell was that? She got anything good? Yeah, shit. Ooh. I'll come back for that. Let's go make some stuff. All right, we're going to sit here. We're going to enjoy our rum. I can't. Christ, I was about to say. All right, so here we're gonna get smart here, people. You know why? What we gotta do is we gotta get in the building. We're close quarters. We're full up. Our oh shit! Where the fuck did this guy come from? Oh shit! Shit yeah! Shit yeah! Oh shit yeah! Oh, I thought that was the last guy. Oh, shit. Ooh, do we want to go seek? Yeah, yeah, we want to go secret. We'll go, go secret. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hey, no problem, Sparky. We just got to win. It was all because you blacked out until your internet power came up into the woods and gave me the power and the inspiration to get my only win here on my birthday. <laughs> With nine eliminations, hail to the yeah, everybody.
I am Uncle Mike Mike. This has been the Uncle Mike Mike show here on my 48th birthday. Well, it's early morning here in South Carolina, and I'm out taking another walk. The reason why I'm taking a walk out here in the morning is because, well, it was supposed to rain this morning, and it, it just started raining on me. And two, it was my 48th birthday, and it was amazing, but it also was kind of sucky and one of the reasons why it kind of just sucked <laughs> was because it was mic, 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 mic. it was on hump day so that you gotta sober up now just to recover for the weekend so as i walk out here in the rain now i want to talk to you a little bit about my whole part of the vlog which is being less fat and you you probably noticed now that I really I haven't been posting my weight loss and I have been losing weight like I did originally in my vlog like every week or most weeks I would show you the scale and show you what the weight loss is and, and here's kind of the reason why is because when I tell people I want to be less fat they're they're very common in their reply and the reply basically to me or the question to me then is like oh what's your target and I tell them my, my targets to be less fat and so I'm not trying to get to a certain weight I did that on my 40th birthday so eight years ago when I need to get below a certain weight to jump out of an airplane but it's just very interesting to me how people just think there's some target there's some magic number that I'm trying to reach and, and that's not it at all. I really am trying to be less fat. And the reason why I say less fat is because just being less fat, it, it actually is a whole mindset thing. It's not just a number, it's really a mindset. Everything starts here in your mind. So I'm trying to think less fat. And I'm trying therefore to behave less fat and then therefore I would be <laughs> less fat so it's not a number i'm trying to reach at all it truly is thinking acting and therefore being less fat and i i have a sneaky suspicion there's a lot of you out in the world that struggle with the same thing because even if i was thin i would still be a fat person and in my mind i would be so i'm really expecting here in the in the future when people go oh wow you know uncle mike mike you look so good you look so thin i'm like yeah i'm a fat person i just happen to be thin right now and that might be kind of a pessimistic view but it's not i'm trying to be less fat i'm trying to think less fat act less fat and therefore be less fat and if you struggle with the same thing maybe that's something we can talk about in this vlog